Hello everybody, my name is Blue Rachnia and welcome back to H1Z1. This is not the H1Z1 you might expect, this is survival mode. Uh, some of you who watch these videos might not know that survival mode exists on H1Z1, I assure you it does. I play on the Sydney server and we will jump into it. Uh, eventually as I go along I might make a server of my own for viewers to come and play. Uh, maybe, depending on uh, for your feedback, you guys out there, if you want to play on your H1Z1 server with me, uh, then you'll feel free to. Um, but yeah, basically this is a series in which I will go around, I will start to build my base in the Sydney server, and we will just go from there. So as soon as this load screen finishes, I will be able to jump in. Loading, loading, loading. I'm going to jump here and I will be back as soon as I am in the server. And I'm back in, as you see, I'm in one of the towns, uh, one of the cities in the server, H3. I'm currently dying of starvation for some reason. Open up tab, get my inventory of all of this shit that I've got. Uh, I've got no food on me. Maybe some of the fridges have been restocked. Uh, it's all unknown to me as of yet. I hope I don't die of starvation because that would just be embarrassing. Here we go, some chili. So I need to eat the chili. So in the bottom right corner, we've got hydration, stamina, energy, and health. Hydration is clearly water. Stamina is, I don't know yet. Uh, energy is food. And of course, health is health. Um, basically, you go around killing the zombies. Do I have any arrows for my bow? I do, good. So I'm going to go go hunt a zombie, just to see. You might see that I've got punji sticks outside. I use them as a zombie trap. Basically, it goes through and it munches them up. They, and it pretty much just serves as a loot gathering device. Just a free source of hats and other shreddable clothing. Can't help but notice the surprising lack of zombies. There's never this not many not zombies around. Now I'm suspicious. No. It's first person move. How do I chat? Oh. No one will be able to hear me anyway. I'm trying to figure out just how many there's a zombie. Just how many people are on the server. So there's three zombies that I've seen. Hunt the zombie. Headshot. And again. Oh, it's like a bitch. Gotcha. Okay, just because you're coming at me, bro, you shall die too. Okay, loot. Uh, mainly big drop hats. I should pick up but sometimes they drop other more exciting stuff another hat Thunk. can retrieve my arrows so it's a lovely source of renewable energy and they don't cost that much to make it only costs one wooden stick to make an arrow I like to think that I'm getting better with my archery skills on the server Time was I wouldn't be able to hit a single zombie, but uh, I seem to be improving. That's mostly headshots. I did miss that one. Ah, uh, yes, scrap metal, scraps of cloth, which make bandages and sheet metal. All are very useful to base building on the H1Z1 survival. Ooh, a hammer. Let's grab the scrap cloth, for bandages. Another punji trap here. I'll show you the punji trap. Oh. 
Here's Zombos. Here's Zombos. Here's Zombos. Kill it. Down you go. Oh. Sometimes I don't get affected by the punji sticks. I like to think that's a oversight. A development oversight. Like that one, he just waded straight through them. But thankfully, he is no match for my arrow to the face. Oh. Lovely. Have those arrows back, please. Clearly, you can find other weapons, better weapons. Would you stop running at me? Whoops, that was not good. And I'm getting too many zombies for my liking. I've only got one arrow left. Okay, so I do have other weapons. I do have a shotgun. But I don't think I've got any ammo for it at the moment. No, I do not. What other weapons do I have? Uh, I don't, I've only got rounds for a 45. The 40, 45. 45. What shoots the 45? I don't know. I'll find it. Uh, for rounds for all that. Hand drawn map. Die. Oh. Um, what else might I do? I might. I can swear you were walking like a normal person then. Uh, there are other people on the server, or there should be. Uh, it is a low population server. The Sydney server is usually low population. Not sure why, but uh, the Adelaide one seems to be quite popular. Close the door so the zombies can't get up. Uh, in the cities you'll find apartments like this um, where you can loot cupboards and stuff to find food and ammo and weapons and all sorts of deals so but not always for some reason people kept food oh, there's a combat knife lovely Under the singlet t-shirt whatever uh, all sorts of stuff you might have noticed in some of my videos, some of my Battle Royale videos, I did come up in, there's some lovely ammo for the shotgun. I did come up into the apartment blocks while I was scrounging for ammo. Uh, in the most recent Battle Royale video, the uh, the highlight reel, I did, also, I did do that in the first Battle Royale I played. Stagnant water, that will come in very handy. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm not sure what the handcuffs are for. I don't think you can craft anything with them. There's a lot of water in here. Uh, I think I'm going to drink that purified water. And shred these bat black caps. All the caps are pretty useless. I do have a tan cap of my own. I'll switch it to the black. There we go. It's mainly an aesthetic thing, but yeah. You can, if you listen, you can hear all the zombies outside shuffling around, trying to get me. They can't get me because the doors are closed, unless they've learnt to open doors. In which case, God help us all. And it's a really slow, boring job, shredding all of this uh, caps for these scraps of cloth. Okay, so put all the scraps of cloth together. I didn't even see that. There, there's ammo here. So you get 80 rounds and more buckshot rounds for, of course, the shotgun. How am I going for? No food around. Bathroom, nothing. Stagnant water. Take that purified water. Okay. Sometimes, occasionally, I will see uh, other players running around. This is only a PVE server, is the Sydney server. Uh, if I was to make a server, I would make it PvP and PVE. But it is more of a 
I don't know, I'd have, I'd have to set some ground rules. You can't just go around shooting other people just because you feel like it. There'd have to be a ruling for it. A reason. This is... Do I have sunglasses? They've got night vision goggles. Oh, that is bright. But I do have the night vision goggles. They are very helpful. Not as helpful as you'd think, but they do come in handy of a night. Okay, so essentially crafting in survival mode is based on discovery of items. So if we go into tab, into the loadout, into the discovery section, you'll go into your inventory, click your item and scroll down to find another highlighted item. That shows the items you can craft, uh, you can discover. Uh, I have so far discovered all of this. And there are still more to be discovered. As you can see, stagnant water doesn't match with anything. Uh, metal sheet doesn't match with anything, but there are still recipes I can find. Things are slugs. I go up to the roof, sometimes there's weapons up on the roof. Not that I need them, I'm a pretty peaceful player on the server. Except for when I'm shooting zombies in the head with arrows. Ooh, shotgun. Reducing demolition work. Uh, nothing. Zombo shuffling around in there. Okay, so well, that's enough exploring. I'll return to my base and we will see what is what. See what I can craft, what I can't craft, etc. So, basically, ooh, I'm tired, so I better go back to the base and rest. Bastard. <laughs> Run. Uh, where am I? Lost my direction. Oh. Just walk on top of punchy sticks because they can't. <laughs> Serves you right, Zombo. Okay, so you can go in the shops as well. No. It's not worth the ammo. What's the matter, zombie? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter, zombie? <laughs> Fucker. Okay, I appear to be in dress shop for some description. But, no matter. Hey, hello. Grab some cloth, always handy. Not that I need any more. Okay, and we're coming to where I've made my starter base, which is essentially a storage container where I keep my supplies that I use to start off with. Uh, I will be making a fort like what everyone else has got. I can see from a window, I can probably see a player made fort. We'll go out to the roof where my storage container is. All of these stairs. I think I better sleep in a bed. Bed in a bed. Okay, while I'm resting, I'll just fill you in on survival mode. Essentially, it's where you go around, it's your job to survive for as long as you can. Uh, when you, you can be infected with the zombie virus, the H1Z1 virus. Um, yeah, so that's always fun. Unfortunately, at the moment, they haven't implemented the zombie becoming part of the virus. Uh, when, you've when you've reached 100% infection, uh, you just die instead of becoming a zombie. Uh, I did read somewhere in the Steam community group uh, that, um, that they are implementing the become a zombie part of the virus. I thought I had more shit than that. Drag all of this over and I will start collecting wood. And sticks and the backpack. Unless someone's found this and they've decided to come and raid.
raid all of my shit, which is not cool. If you come onto the server and you raid my shit, that is not cool. Took sheet, maybe shirt. I think I'd better build a small shack. Have I filled this up? I did. Okay, so I will go and I will. What do I need to craft a basic shack? 20 wood planks and 10 wood sticks. Okay, so there's wood planks. Basic shack. I've got the basic shack door. So basically, I just need to hunt down wood. Uh, I will jump and I will be back as soon as I've made enough room for some wood. And I'm back. I did make enough room in the storage to save some wood. So basically, I'm going to go switch my axe. Axe. My axe. And I'm going to go cut down some trees so that I can build a basic shack to stop all my shit getting stolen. Uh, that is one of the most rudimentary parts of base building. And I should be able to survive with that for now. Uh, oh, that's right. I was trying to look for a player made base. Well, player made bases uh, come in many shapes and they look somewhat like that over there. End of tutorial. As soon as I beat the living shit out of this tree, with my apparently very long axe, and some logs. Oops, I missed. Now the zombies can kill you if you're stupid enough to go near them. There's more player structures over in the distance over there that you can see. You know what? Fuck you zombies. You're all going to go in my trap. Where are you going? You're all coming after me. Come on. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. All purpose goggles. Not too bad. Not very useful. Yeah, you're coming. You want you go. It's fast on the over there, he wants you go. Yep, he almost made it in. Come on, zombies. Come on. Pre breakfast. Oh, you almost got me. Idiot. So basically, this is my cloth farm. So come down the narrow corridor. I'm stuck. And sometimes they drop cloth. Of course, all this one's done for me is drop. That shit. Let's go this way and hunt a tree. Because zombies are actually pretty stupid. Of course, I say that and I've died multiple, multiple times to them. This is a prime example of an in-progress player structure. You've got your ramp, and then you've got your door, which requires an access code, but you can just jump around and you're in that way. Okay, all the trees that you can see are able to be cut down. So I'll cut one more tree. On my ass. Whoa! You're a hardy zombie. Okay, I think I've got enough wood now to head to uh, build a basic shack. I think. I think I needed 20 wooden planks and 10 wooden sticks. So, 
that's very helpful. Okay, follow me into my cloth farm. That would be greatly appreciated. Oops, almost missed it. Come on, Zombos! Wee, Zombos! Nah, okay. Although they are still buggy at the moment, so they can still walk over the punji sticks, some of them, as you saw before. So there's that going for them, little bastards. Yes, at the rooftop. Build me my shack. Okay, so I need a crafting a basic shack. Craft. 20 wood planks, 10 wood sticks. So I have 12. Ah, here we go. Where did you go? Basic shack, excellent. I will place you apparently not up here. So I will take you and I will take my door. And I will go and place you down on the ground floor. Which is a disappointment because I quite liked having a small base up here. But okay, no problem. So where will I build my base? My little shack. I might build it at a gas station over there, the petrol station. Why don't you say? Oh hello. <laughs> Douchebag. Hey! Who wants one swan? Dumbasses. Look at all these. All of these bodies. I need to wait until they all disappear. Oops, that's not good. Okay, I'm going to avoid you now. Because you're all asshole. Place in my little shack. Hey, for some reason I can't place it on the road, I will place it on the grass. Excellent. Okay, so hold E, set my access code, okay, and now I need to run, run, okay, so I'm off to a better start, I've done more in this episode than any other time I've played survival mode on my own, on not on recording, and I blame YouTube for that. Take the hat. Okay, so I'm going to leave this episode here. This has been a productive episode next episode will see me start to build a proper base of my own i'll be playing more off screen uh, trying to collect trees and not be killed by zombies um, so yeah uh, remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video subscribe for more videos by me but for now my name is blue arachnia i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye for now